Hi folks, I'm smoking my meerschaum and in it I've got some Dunhill Dark Flake. This is a VR to London Calling who put up a VR to me in response to a VR that I put up to somebody else. This could go on for many, many times. Simon, I think you're right, there is a bond between us and I hope that that bond lasts this video and um, I hope that you can accept what I say as being my own personal belief and not what I expect other people to believe. I respect those who have a faith, whatever that faith is, whether I agree with it or not, if they're good people. If they're not good people, then they don't have my respect. They have my concern and my love for them. A definition of God. God must be greater than that which we can conceive. In other words, if we can think it's God, then it's not, because God has to be greater than that. You talk about an all-powerful God, for example. Well, if God's all-powerful, then God's evil. Because I can conceive of helping people who are being abused. I can conceive of preventing that abuse. I can conceive of helping people who are involved in terrible accidents. But God doesn't. Yes. There are coincidences and we can say, I will pray for you, brother. And those prayers seem to be answered. But equally, and many, many, many times, they're not. So we talk about a different kind of healing. <coughs> we say, God gave them the strength. He gave them healing to, to put up with what's happening to them. Tell that to the man whose guts are hacking out. Tell, that, tell him that God gave him free will and that's why God won't intervene. But anyway, enough of that. You clearly have a faith and it's right that you have a faith, if, if that's the way you are. Um, you say that you are not, um, that you're only a layman and therefore not uh, able to talk about your faith or matters of God as someone who is ordained would. That's a load of rubbish, Simon. We all struggle with God, even the ordained lot. I say that as somebody who was ordained. They're teaching you what they believe, not what they know. They're teaching you what they've been told that we have to believe and that we have to do. And you're passing that on to your children. You talked about brainwashing. Well, in a sense, we're all guilty of it in a way whether we believe or not. It's just that some brainwashing we believe is good, some we believe is not so good. For example, continually teaching a child that fire burns, we think is a good thing. Continually teaching a child that if they don't do good, they'll be punished by great uncle Charles, who's this all-powerful God, 
is not good. Allowing them to develop and have free will is, is brilliant. Giving them enough knowledge to let them go. But anyway, it's better if I stick to what I believe, otherwise I'm going to upset you all by showing what I believe is wrong with your own faith. First of all, I think you're confusing spirituality, Simon. A religious person thinks of spirituality to do with the spirit um, in the sense of, of God and religion and maybe even the spirit of God. I think of spirituality as to do with my spirit, my response to the world I live in. So, on an evening, if I look at a beautiful sunset, although I know the scientific reasons for it, and I know scientifically that the sun's no longer there when we see the sunset, it's actually disappeared below the horizon four minutes ago. But I still go, wow. I still go, wow, when I see a newborn calf trying to stand or hear the cry of a newborn baby. All those things are part of spirituality. Spirituality is part of the thing that holds us in our humanity. That's that little bit extra, if you like, to all those brain waves and physical things. We know that we're a body made up of elements and electrical charges. We know that we can trace each of those elements, every one, back to a sun, and not an S-O-N, an S-U-N. Each element is born in a sun. Some suns make elements up to carbon, some make elements beyond carbon, and even more, they make the higher elements such as gold. We can prove that. So we're part of elements and we're part of an electrical charge. An electrical charge keeps our heart going, an electrical charge keeps the little grey cells firing. But in those firings, there are some amazing things happening. They produce what's essentially each one of us. And as part of that, many of us believe that there's something within us that's essentially us, whether you call that the soul, the spirit, or, or what. I talked about seeing the divine in everyone, and I think that was a mistake. I should have said seeing the life force in everyone. We all have that life force that permeates the universe. And it's that that binds us together, and that that makes us what we are as, an, as a race, as an animal. And we are animals. We think of ourselves as higher animals, but I, I no longer think that's tenable. Animals breathe, animals feel pain, animals think, animals can use tools. And many animals can use tools better than we can. It's just that they use different tools. So all life holds this living force within it, this force of life. Even the single cell amoeba <clears throat> so that's what I, I think is within each one of us. 
and that permeates the universe. It's not God. It has nothing to do with God. It has nothing to do with belief, whether you believe it or not, it's there. You are alive. The problem I have with the religions is not the individual believers who, for the most part, are good people, not all of you, but for the most part, are trying to do good. And even your leaders, really, are trying to do good. They don't realise that they're holding you captive instead of freeing you. And if you think about it, you talk to brainwashing. And that effectively is what religion does. It says to you, this is what's true. If you really believed that, then you would be constantly at war with other believers of different faiths. You might counter this by saying, but there's only one God and we're all seeking for that same God. But the God you believe in is not the God the Hindu believes in. The God the Hindu believes in is not the God the Muslim believes in. They may have similar aspects, but that doesn't mean that we can say that they're part of the same God and that it's a person just feeling around in the emptiness for an explanation of the divine. There's a research in paganism at the moment and yet paganism has as many divisions and as many um, doctrines as any other religion. I believe that in here, in here, is me. That what I am is unique, as we are all unique. We are all a different product of nature. We all have different gifts. But these are just natural things. They come from the combination of chemicals, of electricity, and of elements within us. I know that within me, I have brain cells that fire off thousands and thousands of times a second. I know that I don't use anywhere near the amount of brain cells of God. That, that's just an incredible thought. You know, I use just such a small percentage. I know that I have a certain amount of genes in me. That animals have more. You know, the little common field mouse. Even the amoeba has genes. That I have something, as they have something, that it makes them unique, that gives them intelligence, that gives them feelings, that gives them understanding that helps them to grieve. You know, just recently we know that there was a killer whale. She carried her young dead calf for over two weeks and the other members of the pod helped her to do that. That says this isn't something that doesn't feel when it's captured. This isn't something that has no understanding. I believe all life has understanding. Now, maybe I should be purely vegetarian because I don't hunt. I don't catch my own prey. 
I leave it to someone else to slaughter it. And I assume that they're doing it in the correct way. But the majority of them aren't. I believe that even flowers have some kind of sentient being. We know that from trees that will send out roots that join with roots of other trees. And when the other tree is under attack, they will send chemicals and things to help the tree withstand attack and to strengthen it during that time. That's amazing. We know that trees prepare for attack. They do it by <coughs> they do it by allowing the fruit to grow so that there are years of glut when the predators are not very great. And then when the predators become more great, they don't produce as much fruit, the trees, in order to cut down on the predators. You know, that's magic. That's just wonderful. So it's those things that guide me. It's those things that I search for. I search for knowledge. I search for so-called wisdom and understanding. I search for answers, whatever those answers are, and wherever they lead me. And my answers may not always be the truth. I'm just as human as anybody else. But if I find that they're not true, then I drop them and move on and rethink and reformulate. I hope that's what scientists do, but I'm not a scientist. I'm just a spiritual man, as we are all spiritual, seeking a way forward. I said, Simon, that I'm happier than I've ever been, and I am. You've no idea. I've said that a lot of that freedom has come just recently, and it has. It's come through my freedom from religion, my freedom from the um, horrors that religion provides. I believe religion is one of the most dangerous things, especially when our politicians believe, because it means that we go to war over nothing, over lies. It means that we hate immigrants because we're a different religion. We talk about our society. But when they come over here, they should become like us. They should respect our society. Well, we should also respect them. We should also seek to know them, seek to welcome them as our neighbours. I'm going to end there, but I hope I've answered some of the questions that you have posed. And I hope that that relationship between us continues. If I've upset anybody on the forum, well, I'm sorry, but each of us is allowed to believe what we believe. 
I just ask that nobody sends me little posts telling me that I have to believe in God or that God's um, believing in me. And don't tell me you know there's a God because it says so in the Bible. Or in your holy book. Or your priest has told you. Or your friends have told you. If you believe in God, that's okay. And I don't mind you talking to me about your belief and telling me what you believe. But don't try and convert me. And I won't try and convert you. Now, may today bring you many blessings. May you grow in wisdom. May you grow in understanding and in strength. May you live each and every day in peace and in joy. And may those things that give you life continue to give you life.